Hey guys, Allison here. I am so excited to get you going with your phase one journey here with us. Within this video, I will be going over what your appointments will look like and also what to expect once your palette or extended has been placed. I'll also be teaching you how to turn the key and how to do your virtual checks. Now let's get started. At the very first appointment, we're going to be adding the separators. You will receive this form that will go over home care instructions. At your very first visit, we're going to be adding the separators. Separators are little rubber bands that we put in between the teeth. Typically how we add our separators is we floss it through the teeth and then we allow half of it to be inside of the contacts and half of it to be out. You might at times have to wiggle towards the tongue side to allow that half and half to happen. Once the separators are in, we will then remove the floss and we will repeat the process. You might have two to four separators depending on how many adult teeth you have. After having the separators for about a week, you will come back to our office and we will do the band fittings. The bands are the little rings that go around your molar teeth. Once we find the right size, we take an alginate impression, we fabricate a model, and we send it to the lab typically takes anywhere from three to four weeks for your palatal expander to arrive. Once it arrives, we will schedule your next appointment. At the delivery of the palatal expander, we will be adding some blue cement around the bands and cementing the palatal expander into place. Once the palatal expander is cemented, we will be going over home care instructions as well as how the palatal expander works. The palatal expander will be turned every other day. Have the child lie on his or her back with the head at the edge of the bed or over the arm of the sofa. Use adequate lighting from a bright lamp or flashlight. Opening as wide as possible will minimize gag reflex. Place the key in the center hole and turn in the direction of the arrows that are on the palatal expander. Turn the expander towards the back of the mouth until you can see the next hole. Carefully remove the key in a down and back direction. Caution: Be very careful not to unturn the palatal expander by removing the key. You will be taking some home care instructions with you that will show you how to turn the palatal expander as well as what to expect. Some of your appointments will be done virtually. We will text you when it's time to do a virtual check. The first type of photo you want to take is a biting down. You want to make sure you're retracting your cheeks so that we're able to see everything. Then we will take a picture of our lower teeth and then we will take a picture of our upper teeth. You will text those back to us and we will get back to you with some home care instructions. <laughs> 